Methoxalan, Wikipedia article audio. Methoxalan is a drug used to treat psoriasis, eczema, vitiligo, and some cutaneous lymphomas in conjunction with exposing the skin to UV light from lamps or sunlight. Methoxalan modifies the way skin cells receive the UV radiation, allegedly clearing up the disease. The dosage comes in 10 mg tablets which are taken in the amount of 30 mg 75 minutes before a PUVA light treatment. Levels of individual patient PUVA exposure were originally determined using the Fitzpatrick scale. The scale was developed after patients demonstrated symptoms of phototoxicity after oral ingestion of methoxalan followed by PUVA therapy. Chemically, Methoxalan belongs to a class of organic natural molecules known as furanocumarins. They consist of coumarin annihilated with furan. It can also be injected and used topically. Natural Occurrence Biosynthesis Synthesis of umbiliferone Synthesis of methoxalan Risks and Side Effects Cultural Aspects Methoxalan is extracted from Ami magus, a plant of the family Apaceae. The substance is also present in other Apaceae as well as Rutaceae, for example bergamot oil which is used in many perfumes and aromatherapy oils. When these products are applied to skin and exposed to UV radiation, the skin may turn brownish due to the phototoxic effects of methoxalan present in the bergamot oil. Most modern perfumes containing bergamot have the methoxalan removed. The biosynthetic pathway is a combination of the shikimate pathway, which produces umbiliferone, and the mevalonate pathway. Umbiliferone is a phenylpropanoid and as such is synthesized from L-phenylalanine which in turn is produced via the shikimate pathway. Phenylalanine is lysate into cinnamic acid, followed by hydroxylation by cinnamati 4 hydroxylase to yield 4-cumeric acid. The 4-cumeric acid is again hydroxylated by cinnamati slash cumerate 2 hydroxylase to yield 2,4-dihydroxy cinnamic acid followed by a bond rotation of the unsaturated bond adjacent to the carboxylic acid group. Finally an intramolecular attack from the hydroxyl group of C2 to the carboxylic acid group closes the ring and forms the lactone umbiliferone. The biosynthetic route then continues with the activation of dimethylallylpyrophosphate, produced via the mevalonate pathway, to form a carbocation via the cleavage of the diphosphates. Once activated, the enzyme umbiliferone 6 prenyl transferase catalyzes a C-alkylation between DMAP and umbiliferone at the activated position ortho to the phenol, yielding dimethylsuborazin. This is then followed by a hydroxylation catalyzed by the enzyme marmesin synthase to yield marmesin. Another hydroxylation is catalyzed by sirolin synthase to yield sirolin. A third hydroxylation by the enzyme sirolin 8 monooxygenase yields xanthotoxol which is followed by a methylation via the enzyme xanthotoxol O-methyltransferase and S-adenosylmethionine to yield methoxalin. Patients with high blood pressure or a history of liver problems are at risk for inflammation and irreparable damage to both liver and skin. The eyes must be protected from UV radiation. Side effects include nausea, headaches, dizziness, and in rare cases insomnia. Methoxalan has also been classified as an IARC group 1 carcinogen but is only cancerous when combined with UV radiation. Author John Howard Griffin used the chemical to darken his skin in order to investigate racial segregation in the American South. He wrote the book Black Like Me about his experiences.